dealing with images on web and mobile apps is static in nature, which is why people like Ken Burns came up with different effects to provide something more visually interesting, like zooming and panning on a still image. We can achieve similar effects using Cloudinary with simple transformations. Getting started inside of my code, I'm using the Cloudinary URL Gen SDK to generate my imagery. Where here I'm referencing a few images in a grid and then I'm resizing them to those image sizes and making sure that we're delivering them with automatic optimization. To get started, I'm going to chain on a new effect instance where I'm going to pass in E underscore zoom pan. Now by default, that may not do anything unless you're intentionally delivering an animated format. But to make sure we are delivering an animated format, I can chain on the format and specify a GIF where we can see once we reload the page that we now get that zoom pan effect. Now, alternatively, I don't even need to specify a GIF here. I can specify auto colon animated, which is going to give me the best resulting animated supported format in that browser. Where in this case, it looks like WebP is going to be the better format that's gonna support animation rather than serving up a larger GIF. Now taking this a step further, I wanna make sure that this continues animating. I don't want it to only animate once and then stop. So I can chain on another effect and specify E underscore loop, which will make sure that my animations will continue looping with that zoom effect. We can even get more advanced with our syntax here, where instead of just zooming into the center, I wanna zoom into the subject. So on my zoom pan effect, I'm gonna specify a colon where I'm gonna say I want it to go to underscore, then I'm gonna use parentheses, and I'm gonna say G underscore auto, where I wanna specify the gravity of auto so it automatically determines the subject and zooms into that. And we can already see a big difference in this effect, especially with this parrot here, where it's now zooming into the parrot rather than the center of the image. To learn more about the different effects and the syntax, including setting the location where it's zooming from, visit the Cloudinary documentation using the link inside of the description. So in review, we can do more interesting things with our still images, such as creating animations that zoom and pan on our images that are similar to the Ken Burns effect. Where inside of my code using the Cloudinary URL Gen SDK, I can specify the effect that I want for zoom pan along with its configuration. I can even loop it and set my format to automatically give me an animated format to give me a great zoom and pan effect for my project.